Hello and welcome to Billy's Craft Room. In today's film I'm going to be using Ranger's acrylic dabbers. In this project I've used the dabbers to highlight the embossed area on this paper flower but the technique I'm going to show you today is how to create a rust effect. I've used it on this die cut frame here. For this project you will need acrylic dabbers in silver, terracotta and espresso. It's also a good idea to have a Mr. Bottle of water to hand. Sometimes the paint does dry in the sponge tops and a quick spray of water can get the paint flowing again. I'm working on a craft sheet and I'm going to be painting onto a die cut cut from black cardstock. For the best results use an intricate die cut similar to this one. I'm demonstrating on a larger die cut like this just to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Place your die cut on your craft sheet and then the first colour I'm going to apply is the silver. It's a good idea to test the dabber on a spare area of craft sheet to make sure the paint is flowing correctly. Gently tap over the surface of the die cut. If the paint is flowing well and you only press gently, you'll get the textured effect. You can see there the texturing that the sponge in the top gives. Set the piece aside to dry or you can speed the process using a heat tool. This is how the piece looks now that it's dried. The next colour I'm going to apply is the terracotta. The effect I'm going for with this technique is black wrought iron that has been painted silver and then decayed over time. The silver paint has chipped off and this terracotta is representing the rust. I'm applying that all over the piece. If you find you get too much paint in any particular area, if you use a piece of sponge or a piece of kitchen paper and dab over the piece, that will just blend the paint into the background. Hope you can see there the new layer of paint that's been applied. Set this aside to dry or speed the process using a heat tool. piece has dried now and this is how it looks. The final colour I'm going to apply is the espresso. This is to add general grime to the project. Bear in mind this will really tone down the colours so you want to go sparingly with this one. But I'm going to go over any dominant areas of paint just to tone them down so that they all blend in. If you do overdo this colour, you can always go back with the silver and the terracotta to lighten it up again. Here's a piece that I made earlier, just so you can see what it looks like once it's dried. The best type of die cut to use for this technique is something fine and intricate like this. Start with a black cardstock and then apply the paint 
in your chosen areas. I hope you can see there the texture that this painting technique gives. There we go, it's a bit easier to see. Perfect for grunge and vintage style projects. On this project, I highlighted the embossing on the paper flower using gold acrylic dabbers, which adds a nice highlight. And this box, although it looks like an ancient metal one, in actual fact is a cardboard box that's also been decorated using acrylic dabbers. You don't have to stick to the darker colourways, you can also go lighter. This grunge ball bracelet was decorated using pool, purple twilight and silver acrylic dabbers. And you get a completely different effect just by changing the colour palette. Hope you've enjoyed today's film. If you have any questions, do leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. For more inspiration, please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.co.uk.